In this video, I'm going to go over some of the features of a, a LabCorp patient portal where you can access reports on your uh, butt work. Usually when you uh, get some butt work done, uh, by the next day it goes to the uh, doctor. And a few days later, maybe two to three days later, uh, it's available where you can come and uh, view them. Of course, when you go to the doctor, he'll go over the report with you. And you can keep a copy, but sometimes it's it's better if you if you have it ahead of time. So if you schedule your your doctor's appointment uh, a few days later on, and then go to the uh, to the lab, maybe two to four days before you go, have your appointment with the doctor. Sometimes you can get it before the doctor, and you can go over it. So if you have any questions, some, sometimes the doctor goes over the, the the report real quick, and uh, this way you have uh, a uh, view. And if you have questions, you can ask the doctor when you have your appointment. So obviously, you have to create an account with uh, LabCorp. Uh, if you don't hear it here at this page, you can create it right here. Enter some uh, basic uh, information, your name, create a password, username, uh, and so forth. Here, I'm just going to sign in. And then right here on the left side, you have lab results. So if you have any any labs that you, uh, blood work that you did and you haven't viewed them then, if they're available right here, it'll notify you. Well, actually, when, when you click over here on this one, you have invoices there, appointments. You can uh, set up appointments with the uh, with a lab. You don't really need an appointment, but if you want to, you can. Your profile, dependents, better together, contact LabCorp and so forth. But if you click on lab results right here, if you just see it this way, you can go ahead and view the report. Now, if you if you have one done, say, uh, one day, uh, it won't be available for a few days for you. The doctor gets it right away, but it did take a few, a few days. But right here to tell you the, the date and time that it will be available. So you have easy access. So this one, of course, uh, I've already viewed, but I'm gonna view it here. Okay, so we look at this and think about it sometimes, you, you can uh, look at the information and you can tell whether it's a, a good report or not. Uh, obviously here in my, uh, for my thyroid TSH, it was low. You can see the reference uh, interval over here. 0.45 to 4.5. Okay, gives you the units right there. So obviously the the dosage will have to change here. And I used to go to the doctor uh, for mainly for uh, change of dosage in, in the uh, thyroid medication, uh, the cholesterol, and the vitamin D. Okay, the T4 again that's associated with the thyroid here. T4 free direct is also high. So a change in dosage would probably would take care of that. So I was taking uh, 112 MCGs of the uh, thyroxine, and uh, they changed it to 100. I just started taking it a few uh, few days ago, and then the hemoglobin here associated with your uh, your blood cells. This was uh, low. You can see the interval there. An MCHC, again associated with blood cells, was low. Reference interval over here is 31.5 to 35.7. RDW, again, association with uh, the blood cells, 18.6 was high. The interval should be 11.6 to 15.4. Okay, so for, the, for these in red uh, associated with the blood, I started taking uh, iron tablets. Okay. So this was, these were even worse than this here, okay? A lot of these have, uh, were uh, high or low, and the majority of them are now normal, okay? Cholesterol section here, again, everything normal there. Vitamin D, 48.5 is normal. The reference interval is over here, okay? So I've downloaded these already to my computer, but if you want to download these, you do need uh, Adobe Reader required here it tells you so I'm going to just download this 
and you can save it anywhere you want here I've already I believe I've already saved this one but I'll go ahead and do save as and then I'm just sort of save it by date so February 27th I have it right there okay February 27th but I'm gonna go ahead and save it again okay let me clear this and then save it so already saved there February 27th but let me just do it again click on save so it says February 27th 2020 already exists do you want to replace it so I'm just gonna say yes okay that's the way you save it okay and then I close this out here And then I saved it. You can save it anywhere you want. I have a file that I created here. Lab core reports. And then to open it here, here, February 27, 2020. I'm going to say open with Adobe. Okay, so here's the same report I have here. Okay. Same report. And you can print this out if you want. Click on this here. And then just click on print. Okay. If you need one, for example, let's let, let's say you uh, you want a second opinion on something, or you're switching doctors and you want the reports available right away, you can go ahead and and uh, print them. Okay. But I'm gonna just cancel this out. So again, basically what I've gone over here is how to view the report uh, in the in the um, LabCorp portal. Okay. And this is one of how to download it. And of course, you can print it if you want. And of course, from that uh, LabCorp portal, if you want to uh, schedule an appointment on the left side, like, like I said, uh, it was appointments. But generally in the labs, uh, you can just walk. Walk in and then sign in and uh, they'll call you. You see LabCorp, uh, depending on what time of the day you go. The shortest time I've been there, in, been in there, if it's five minutes, the longest is probably 15 to 20. Okay, hope this helps you out, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.